we're gonna do a quick test fit of the replacement for this old window. This is the old acrylic prototype window. And now we're gonna put the base of the sapphire window assembly into this Lenner Reactor's main manifold. This is just hot glue, AKA hot melt on here. And I'm just gonna peel this thing off and get it out of the way. I have to be very careful here because I cracked the rear lens off where the LED light source is doing the same thing. We'll just get this out of here and wipe off these little Teflon tape shards. Now we'll just install the base of the Sapphire window assembly, and this is stainless steel fresh off the haas. So let's take a look down the axis that splits the two hemispheres. This is where we could turn this Lenner reactor into an actual laser with a high reflector and a partial reflector. If you're still with me and you're wondering what the heck is this guy building over here? Well, I, I don't know, right? I just want to have a sonoluminescence reactor that can poke the boundaries of Lenner, which is fringe fake physics, I guess, but there have been historical anomalies that create excess heat, and I want to get to the bottom of that. There is no way to really simulate this because it's based on something that shouldn't exist or doesn't exist to some people. But there's so much historical anecdotal evidence of this excess heating, and I've personally had at least three or four researchers reach out to me in the past year saying they've had electrodes like completely disintegrate and wacky stuff happen, in their electrolysis setups. So I have to believe there's something going on there and I'm gonna investigate it and you're gonna see what happens on this channel. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the things and thank you for watching this ultra short Leonard video. Adios.